Okay, uh, welcome to this tutorial which is going to demonstrate uh, the use of the removed and revolved sections. Two types of sections that you may have not encountered uh, as yet in your journey in graphics. If we have a look at them here, uh, we can see that the revolved section is cutting through the object at different points and rotating that section 90 degrees within the drawing. It's very close partner or close cousin is the remove section same idea but instead of the section being contained within the drawing we place a section line and the profile is brought outside um, Creo uses revolved as the tool to create this and then we simply pull the object out here so let's create some removed or slash revolved sections to do that, I went back to an old Creo um, drawing of the different parts of the made up the toe ball back in grade 11. Um, to create revolved sections, I thought it might be useful to cut through uh, the top of the semispherical dome here on the nut, on the bolt, I should say, through the square section underneath it, and then also through this cylindrical circular section here as well. So the first thing we do, if we're in the layout tab, we come across and we can see it says revolve so we click on we want to create a model review that is revolved it's prompting me down the bottom left here to say to select the parent view the parent view is the view that the section line is going to come from so i select that view there it's now prompting me to select a center point so at this point i'm going to do the square section first and i want the view to be over here so we're going to click somewhere over there in space now I'm being prompted with a couple of things that we've probably seen before in sectioning. Um, you can see it's asking to create a new, well, it's already prompted me for a new uh, lot of data here. So it's just planar, I'm not going to get anything to offset here. Planar and click on done. Give it a name as we know we do. A. Click on the green arrow. And in this case here, um, similar to previous sectioning techniques, if I had a plane passing through where I wanted to cut, I could select that plane. Chances are that I don't. So what I'm going to do is choose to make a datum or make a, uh, a position for a new plane. So click on make datum. And I've got a couple of options here um, that I can now choose from. Um, I'm going to use a technique where I'm going to choose the offset datum plane, which basically means I'm going to choose a plane on this view to offset that's going to pass through somewhere through here. I'll demonstrate. Click on offset and then click on to a yeah onto an actual plane on the other view which is parallel to the plane I want to cut through here. Alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this view here until I've pre-highlighted that top section of the square part of the bolt there and you'll notice it now goes red with these sort of cross hatchy lines on it what that means is is i've now selected that plane and i want to offset a plane below that so down the bottom of my collector here we can see i can either offset through a point or offset a value so i'm going to choose just through point because i don't need to be an exact distance through point come up here to halfway down through my square section and click once. Nothing seems to have happened until you click done. And then we get our preview of our section line and our remove section. Click apply, click close. And then we can see we've got our square remove section. Let's add another one being the circle and also being the circle for the spherical shape up there because there's a slight difference. Once again, revolve section, or revolve view I should say. Click on the parent view. And center point for the drawing. So I'm gonna place it uh, over here perhaps. And you can see here that it's popped up straight away with the same cross section. Uh, basically because I didn't select a new section. So I'm gonna cancel that. And I should be able to go now, uh, select that first, revolved. Select the parent view, select the center point, uh, okay, create new. Okay, there we go. So I'm not too sure why that's popped up. We'll try we go. Create new, same thing as before. This time I'm going to call it B. Make a datum, offset. Once again, I'm going to just 
select that square surface there through a point and I'm going to go below it so around about there somewhere click on done and we can now see that we've got a new uh, remove section out here click on apply and close which is circular now in profile I'll just repeat that step one more time for a section through here the remove section so I'll revolve click on the parent view click on where you want the view to go so I'm going to go out to about there somewhere come up to my revolve view properties I'm going to create a new one and it's going to be planar click on done this one call it C make a datum select the surface that's going to be parallel to the surface that you uh, position of the uh, section so offset right click until I get that left click to select it click through point and click somewhere around there to give myself that point click on done apply close and happy days so the black line represents the section line and of course this represents the profile or the cross-sectional um, shape of the object where it's cut. Okay, hopefully that's of assistance to you.